welcome to another edition of HPTV News. I'm Alina Shabak. And I am Dominic DiFilippo. Have you ever checked out the, the beautiful writing hanging in the specials hallway? HPTV News is very excited to feature one of those writers once a month. Here's our writer of the month now. Hi, my name is Caitlin and I'm the writer of the month. One time when I, when I showed resilience was when I, when I was learning how to do a PK turn and dance. Now it's one of my favorite turns, but it wasn't always. Next week, the High Point PFE will be sponsoring the Trunk or Treat. Because of the construction around our school, this event will be held at Sandberg High School this year. Trunk or Treat is a fun activity where families can sign up to decorate their cars for Halloween to, and pass out candy. All High Point students and their families are invited to either decorate their car or just come and see all the fun decorations and get lots of candy. Talk to your grown-ups today about signing up for Trunk or Treat. This Thursday is International Shakeout Day, a day where millions of people across the world will participate in earthquake drills. <coughs> this great shakeout <coughs> earthquake drill will take place at 10.20 a.m. Although earthquakes aren't very common where we live, it's always a smart idea to be prepared just in case. Our field reporters will explain what to do for this important drill now. Hello, High Point Hornets. Just in case an earthquake happens, here's what to do. First, stand up and push out your chair. Then, you want to get under your desk very safely. Put one hand on the leg of the desk and one arm on your neck. Just in case if your desk breaks, the supplies or anything in your desk will not fall out. These are a very important part of our environment. Several of our students have been taking interest in helping the bees around our school. They're with us today to share some information about bees. Girls? I am here with Elvie, Elliot, Sarah, and Winter. We are here to tell you things about the bees and what to do and what not to do. First thing, do not pick up the flowers or the bees. What you should do is help them if they are on the ground and make sure they know where to go. <laughs> make sure to watch where you are walking and do not step on the bees purp purposely. Here are some tips and tricks if a beer is near you. Don't panic. They just like the color of your shirt. Also, do not whack or kick them. Thanks for listening. Save the bees. High Point is so proud of our very own fourth grade student, Riley Wells. Riley recently won an awesome award for her acting. Let's go to Riley to find out more. We are here with Riley. Tell us about Fences, the play you were recently in. Um, so the play was an August Wilson play, and I was the main character's daughter, Raynell. And the story is basically about how he raised his kids. Can you tell us a little bit about the Jeff Awards? So the Jeff Awards is an award show, and they have different like categories, like ensemble, directors, and stuff like that. And sometimes they put little clips of the plays on the big screen in the back. Are you in any shows now or coming up in the future? Um, yes, I'm in another August Wilson play called Joe Turner's Coming Gone. My character is also the main character, Dart again. Thank you for sharing with us. And Dominic DiFilippo signing off. Have a wonderful day. This newscast brought to you by the High Point Media Team.